Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage here today. Today we're going to talk about one of the dilemmas in the painting world. Do I strip it or do I sand it? I personally hate stripper. It's a big goopy mess and it's hard to get off and sometimes you just wind up with more work than it's worth. There are a few times when a piece is nice and flat and you're just taking off the top and you put the stripper on with some saran wrap and you can get it right off. But most of the time I go right to the sander. Today we're going to show you a piece that my husband and I worked on. started out with about five layers of paint. It was really, really gross. In fact, the lady I bought it from had had it for months and had been looking at it and thinking, what am I going to do with this? Finally, she sold it to me and in about half a day, I had it redone. So watch and learn. I'll have lots of commentary so you can see how I did it. All right, here it is to start with. This is the world's ugliest piece. It had like 50 nasty layers of paint on it. Well, maybe not 50, but probably close to six or seven layers of paint, stain, crackle finish. It was so gross. We went ahead and we used the belt sander on the top with 80 grit sandpaper. You can see my husband's the one in the picture operating it because it kind of has a mind of its own. It's a little hard for me to control. I'm not quite strong enough. Need to work on my deadlifting so that way I can use it. But we took it all off. And then what you won't see in this video is how we finished it, but I'll give you a brief description of how we finished it. And then you'll see the final picture. We used Fairy Chalk Mother paint in Windy Day. We did a distress with sandpaper and then I used white wax to wash it out and make it look shabby. And I added JRV appliques to add some detail. We also used on the top Weatherwood stain. Part of the reason that we're using 80 grit sandpaper on the top is because weatherwood stain reacts to the natural tannins in the wood. So you have to have the pores open. So you don't want to use like a 220 to smooth it out because that'll heat it up and make it closed. You want to have the pores nice and open. So an 80 grit does that really well. Um, you got to make sure that all the dust and debris is off before you use the weatherwood. But then you just put the weatherwood on there and then you seal it. When I was all done sealing it, I went ahead and used a fine sanding block just to kind of smooth it out but it wound up looking pretty good. We only did the belt sander on the flat surfaces. I used a hand sander everywhere else. We went ahead and pulled out the drawers and the cupboards and we belt sanded those too, since that's an easy thing to do. And then here's our finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. It's shabby and beautiful and would look great in any home. All right, so after much sanding and sweat and blood and tears and paint, Stain, appliques, it's all finished. I think I deserve a Dr. Pepper and a donut. Be sure to like my channel and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.